What's going on everyone? Today I am in Takadanobaba in Tokyo and to my left we got none other than Mr. Ruben who just purchased a property in Tokyo. Otaku. Morning everyone. Yeah, congratulations. How are you feeling? Excited and uh, yeah. anxious at the same time. Awesome. So we're here to close. We're on the way to uh, the, the real estate company. You already signed the paper, you made the payment, so it's yours. Now we just gotta grab the keys. So shall we go? Let's do it. All right, let's go. Okay, so Ruben, where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles, California. What made you wanna buy a property in Japan? That's complicated. <laughs> it's a rainy day in March. It's kind of cold still. We went through a lot of properties and uh, you actually found this listing yeah we thought it was a good deal and we went to look at it I think the day after you saw it and I mean we're gonna go to the property um, after this so we can showcase it but yeah I think it's a really cool property part of Tokyo I've never seen anything like that at that price in uh, you know otaku so yeah I'm excited to kind of showcase to the audience yeah I'm excited man uh... The location seems awesome. It's just a hop skip to pretty much everywhere I want, at least on my dream sheet. So, yeah, I'm excited. Great. All right. So, let's go close this thing. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. So, we're here. This we're is here. the real estate. Oh, that's the agent and the seller. <laughs> okay, let's go in. All right, Ruben, it's official. You got the keys. It's official. I got the keys. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You're a homeowner in Japan, in Tokyo. Can we go see your new house? Let's go. Okay. Let's do the tour. Let's do this. All right, we're in uh, Takadanobaba right now. And to get to Otaku, I think it'll take maybe 30, 30 minutes? 40 minutes? Yeah. Uh, we'll see. 26 minutes. 26 minutes. Okay. All right, we'll see you at the property. So, Ruben, we're almost there, right? We just got off the cab and we got to this narrow street. We're almost here? Yeah. The rain stopped. Perfect timing. Oh, Almost yeah. that's there. That's a good sign, right? Yeah, that's a good sign. Yeah, in Japanese, we have this idiom called, I think it goes, Amefute chikatamaru, meaning as it rains, the, the ground starts to hold better or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I say, said it right. But anyway, yeah, that's a good sign. You know, I, I don't think it's going to rain anymore. I think it's around here, right? According to the Google Maps, is it? Is it yes. over here? Right here. All right. Here yeah, all right. Take us there. You got the keys. This is it. All right, there you go. Look at that. Okay, we go through this path, and this is yeah. your new home. All right, so Ruben's gonna give me a tour of his new house. Onegaishimasu. Let's see your place. New place. Come right in. Thank you. Onegaishimasu. Wow. What should we do first? Huh? You tell me. This so is the. the entry? Okay, nice. The first bedroom, I first guess. Room? Yeah, first room. Uh, there was a big, big dog or something, right? And there was a scratch here. From what I understand, <laughs> up through the kitchen to the dining room. Nice. I H. Oh, does this come with a dishwasher? Nice. Yeah, the yeah, rare so item that's of super uh, common Japan in Japan. Yeah. Dishwasher. I'm assuming this is the living room. With some really large closets. Okay. And, and are you planning to? Did you say you're planning to? Yeah, I would love to actually open this up a little more just for buying two spaces. Yeah, that would be nice, actually. Yeah, for sure. That's the idea. Make it a little more uh, open. Yeah. It's more light, open up the light. And uh, right off the kitchen, we oh, we have the traditional for cold storage. Oh, nice. Right? Yeah. And then right off the kitchen, we have our bathroom, our washroom, and a typical bathtub. Mm -hmm. Oh, huge window. That's good for circulation. And I'm guessing this is a uh, toilet? Yep, this is the uh, bathroom right off, the, okay. right off the main entry. Nice. Oh, I like it. It's like... <laughs> if it didn't have a toilet, then it would be a bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be Harry Potter's room. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, right this way upstairs. So to the right, we'll watch your uh, stuff right here with the attic Yeah, we'll come back to that after. But this is your first bedroom, which is this is actually a really bedroom. large room considering. Yeah, um, it is. I'm guessing this is a master bedroom, yeah? We'll see. Yeah. There's more very Oh wow, closets. look at that. Like the walk-in, literally like yeah, a walk-in um, closet. It's pretty deep that, actually. That's really deep. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. This one's even I don't even know. Oh like, wow. All it's, the way in there. 
to be honest. Super deep. I, okay. I think I could turn that into a loft right there. <laughs> nice. And then more storage. More storage. These are very large closets. Yeah. This is great. This is really good space. And then right off the balcony right here. Nice, look at this view. You can hang your clothes, do laundry here. I'm not sure if this is a master bedroom, I would think this, this one is a master bedroom, right? Maybe I'm wrong. Is it a little yeah, either one, yeah. Right, this it's... is a little larger. This is another sizable room, that was surprise. Whoa, nice. Large, more huge closets. More, yeah, ton of storage. Yeah, there's a ton of storage in this place. And we haven't even looked at the attic yet. That is a lot of closet space. It was made for a <laughs> And then uh, back out into the hallway, we have... Oh, the second toilet. The second toilet. Wow. It is not very common for a house to have two toilets. It's usually one, but that's good. That's what you wanted, right? That was one of the non-negotiables. Yeah, two it toilets. has to have at least two toilets. Yeah. If we had a second shower, it'd be amazing. I and know, then, right? And then uh, right this way, okay. have, I'm assuming this is a loft. It's nice, it's got nice light up here. Uh, I like it. You can stand up here. Yeah, guessing and this is when it was built. Showa 61年 So that's 1986, August 10th. You gotta get creative with space up here. Yeah, this is super rare. You don't get this in and, uh, a Japanese on top house. Of the loft, you still have storage on the other side of it too, which is pretty cool actually. You got this whole area just for storage. Yeah, cool. I'm excited. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. Again. Yeah, this is super exciting. And when are you coming back uh, with your family? I'm gonna be back in uh, June. So in a, in a couple June. months. Yeah. Did yeah. you say you're coming back with uh, one of your daughters? Yep, yeah. come back with the family and then I'm gonna stay up here and we'll do some work here and uh, make it the way we want it and uh, enjoy it. Yeah. yeah, awesome. For those who are looking to do what you just did, purchase a property in Japan, whether it's a vacation home like you did or maybe a rental pro uh, property, you know, build a portfolio. What advice do you have? What tips do you have for those who want to do what you just did? It kind of depends on what you want to do, but uh, don't be afraid of it. it. It's honestly, I think this was easier to purchase than it is in the States. The process was uh, much simpler. Just mm -hmm. make sure you have your, whatever documents you're going to need uh, with you. And that's it. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, that's awesome. That's And great then of course your service. Oh, appreciate it. <laughs> Without that, I wouldn't have been able to like, come to this point. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I, I was a little worried at first and uh, thinking that what am I forgetting here? And, in the end, we it, it all came together really nicely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, now I got a set piece. Oh, I love it. <laughs> there you go. Awesome, man. Well, I'd love to, I know you're gonna, you know, you already bought a lot of uh, appliances and, you know, furniture and stuff. And maybe when you when you feel like you're settled in, maybe like the next trip or well, the trip after, it, I'd love to come back and see what it's like. And I know you're gonna do some work, you said, right, too? So let's possibly. Let's do another tour. Yeah, let's yeah. do another tour. So until then, thanks for watching. And this is Ruben, the new owner of this house. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, see you next time.